Hi, this is Dave, the old engineer. From my office, I buy a lot of things online, many of them from Amazon. I like the Amazon because of the variety of they offer of things for the home, the garden, the office. And with such a large selection, it turns out that Amazon supplies a lot of products that work well together. I don't mean things like garden hoses and nozzles. Those work well together because there's a standard to connect them, just like plugs and mall outlets. I mean things that we, Amazon's customers, figure out by looking at them that will work together to fill needs that can't be handled by a single product. In this video, I'm going to present some of the Amazon products that work well together, and occasionally I'll mention something that doesn't come from Amazon. But I do need to tell you that I'm registered in as an Amazon affiliate, so I'll link the products in the comments section on the video. But you need to understand that if you buy something, I might get a commission for it. In any, any event, anything that I show, I already own, and I've used them, and they seem to work fine, and they do work well together. On the other hand, while I've found them useful, I don't make any guarantees. Those are made by Amazon and by the people who make the products. These videos are just my observations. The first pair of products I want to show you is a bamboo bathroom shelf and wire bins that fit the shelves very nicely. Here's a illustration. Notice how the length of the bins are just a little under half of the width of the shelves. And the width of the bins is almost the same as the depth of the shelves. This is a useful coincidence. So you can put the shelves up and then sit the bins and fill the bins with things. But I need to make some comments, speaking of hanging the shelves, I need to make some comments about putting things on drywall, which is what almost everybody will do with these. Usually it's safe to hang things like pictures, which are mounted and left alone using some sort of picture hanger. And light things may only need a nail and a hook. Heavier things might require something with a plastic screw anchor. This is for things that go on the wall and basically you never touch after you mount them. However, when you're putting up shelves, you're going to be touching them all the time. And so you need to make sure that whatever you use to mount them in the drywall will be able to put up with this abuse. Uh, so you have a couple of choices. One, if you're lucky, you can put them into studs. So you just put screws into the studs and hang the shelves on the screws. But more often you're going to have to mount it on the drywall with nothing behind it. So what you need to do is use something like molly bolts that expand behind the drywall or one of the other similar fasteners so that you get some stability. And also, when you hang these shelves, you need to be able to back the screw out. So you need to have something that has a more permanent mounting in the, in the drywall not a screw anchor, which is sort of can be pulled out at will. So that means don't use the screws that come with the shelves. Those are just regular sheet metal screws with uh, plastic things. Uh, you need to use molly bolts or something similar. Um, make sure when you do this that you notice that on the back of the shelves there are little metal plates recessed into the wood and you need to be able to slide the slot on these little metal plates over the shelf. So you need to be able to back the screw out just a little. Not too much, just enough so that you can slide it in and it sort of snaps in place. When you have the shelves mounted securely, all you have to do is fill the bins up with your stuff and if you notice in the picture that I've made uh, there's a lot more stuff in these bins than you can put on the shelves without spending most of your time picking up things that got knocked off. So the nice thing about having these bins is you get more storage and less annoyance. Anyway, when you do your installation, send me a picture. Uh, it'd be nice to know and maybe I ha can find a way to post them. Uh, I have a lot more examples of things that uh, work well together, and I'll be showing them in upcoming videos. If you happen to find pairs of things that work together, uh, and you'd like me to make video on them, 
send me the, the links on, on Amazon and I'll look them up. Uh, you can also send me an email to theoldengineer at engineer.com and I'll be happy to respond to it. I'll also give you credit uh, on my uh, video. Remember to subscribe if you want to be notified about new videos about this as they are released. And of course, you're welcome to look at my other videos and comment on those. And I'll be back soon with a new combination. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any comments on this or any of my other videos. And I'll see you next time.